Hi, my name is Anthony and I run a platform called The Knights of Horror. We are on multiple social media platforms including YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We uh, do the coverage of, of SoCal haunts and um, horror in the SoCal scene and uh, we are slowly expanding to more and more areas in the world. But Not Scary Farm has to be one of my favorite haunts of all time. And I'm not just saying that because of this video. I am legitimately saying that it's probably the greatest haunt in the world. Um, when you when you look back at the history of knots, as far as how mazes are and how scare zones are and sliding in general, entertainment and all that, knots is the originator. Knots Scary Farm um, took something very simple and took it to new heights in the next coming years when when the event first opened 50 years ago. Um, I, I I have been a longtime fan since, uh, for me, it started in 2008 when I first went to the event. Um, I was only about, I think, like 10, 10 or 11, and I didn't last more than two hours. Um, fast forward to 2012, and I went back to Not Scary Farm um, when I was a little bit older, and I had the time of my life, and from 2012 on, I kept going um, every single year. Uh, Not Scary Farm to me has just been one of those places where I can go to just kind of enjoy it and have a great time because I love just sitting in the scare zones. I love watching the monsters do their thing. I love going through the, the mazes to see how well detailed they are and and just, just to see the event as a whole. There's so much hard work that goes in front of us uh, with the monsters and behind the scenes with everyone that, that helps put it on between tech, um, construction, makeup, uh, costuming, uh, management, all that stuff. It all is one big piece and um, we have to come together to put on what we see as Not Scary Farm. I feel like I should be a, a Not Scary Farm ambassador because uh, for the love of the event that I have. I, I Throughout the year, even when Not Scary Farm goes away, I'm still interviewing a lot of the monsters uh, year round uh, on my podcast. And for me, uh, I like to go beyond just the character. I like to I like to figure out who the people are and, and to know them as people and, and just to get a better background of who their character is. That way when people go back to these events they can really um, immerse themselves into the story that, that you guys try to put on every single year which is really amazing. Um, I've, I've have so many memories from 2019 alone, 2021, 2022, and we go every single season. We go multiple times a season. I know that in 2019 we had the annual pass and we went at least two or three times every weekend that season. Um, and then in 2021, we bought tickets, I think for like six or seven different nights. And then same thing for 2022, I bought tickets for like six or seven different nights and just went. Um, I have a lot of friends that, that scare there. So for me, as, as not only a fan, but as just someone who loves to support my friends, I just love going and just sitting there and watching them do their thing. Um, it, it's cool when, when I hear people talk about it on my show compared to um, seeing it in person. You know, you got to see how they scare and, and how they are with, with guests and, and how they are in character and stuff. So it's really cool to kind of have those two um, – worlds meet and for me I would just I as an ambassador I would I would do um, the absolute best of my to my ability to produce some of the greatest content out there that you guys will um, allow me to produce um, and I'm very flexible with working with people I, I don't give anyone hard times or anything like I, I'm pretty 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 simple when it comes to working together with people um, but I, I, I just love, I love Not Scary Farm as a whole. And this year we're, we're thankful and grateful enough to get to celebrate the, um, the 50th anniversary and I'm super stoked for that uh, as a longtime fan to see um, you know, what, what things were popular back in the day and, and to see hopefully things come back to this year or just references or whatnot. I'm just, a, uh, as a fan, just excited. Uh, whether I get accepted or not, um, I want to thank you guys for the opportunity. I think this is a wonderful thing that you guys are doing. Um, and I can't wait to see what is in store for the 50th as a fan and as um, uh, a creator. Uh, so I'm excited. Thank you guys again for the opportunity. Um, we love Not Scary Farm so much on this channel. And we care a lot about it. So we would love to extend our coverage on it um, if possible. But if not, 
you can count on us to continue to support you guys because you guys have uh, put on some of the greatest things I've ever seen. So I'm going to continue to come back every single year. Um, thank you so much again for your time, and I hope to hear back from you guys real soon.